All right, we're here for the post-game press conference after day two and game two of the McMinnville Super Regional. After Linfield beats Bethel 1-0, we're here with Bethel head coach Penny Four, seniors Kayla Simisek and Allie Fouth Kilgore. Coach, uh, second straight year to the Super Regionals for you guys, um, particularly with this group of outgoing seniors. What's the ride been like? Oh, I can't. Even, I don't even have words for that. I mean, that's a hard thing to do as a coach is to leave someone speechless. But that's what these women do every day. Um, they had they to your credit, they have elevated this program and everything we do, but it's not just on the field, off the field. I told them today I'm the luckiest coach in the world and I will stand by that. Kayla turned in uh, two terrific performances this weekend. Um, just talk about what she's done to help kind of raise the bar. We all know how uh, hard it is to get a dominant number one pitcher like that and how key it is to, to becoming a top team. Yeah, um, I mean, she astounds me every day, and she keeps finding ways to be batters, um, and she gets really creative. And she and Courtney call their own game, and they they are such a good matchup. And uh, they study and they read batters. And I mean, I'm so happy she's in this uniform. Kayla, um, you obviously pitched pretty well, but it was a, a tough offense you were going against today. Would you feel like was working or not working for you? Yeah, just um, reacting, kind of like what Penny said, reacting to how they approach me and taking the knowledge that we have with the charts and stuff like that and using that to our advantage. You've been arguably the best pitcher in Division Three the last couple of years. Are you planning on coming back for a fifth year? We'll never know. All right. <laughs> we'll find out. Find out this summer. Allie, uh, you're the only five-time All-Region player ever, the only five-time All-Mayak player ever. Is you guys have really, I mean, like I said earlier, raised this program to not just the top of the MIAC, but one of the best teams in the country. When you look back on the last five years, uh, what have you been thinking about with this group? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, when I came into this program, it was a 500 program. We were half winning, half losing, like, um, not because of any. <laughs> um, but it's just been so amazing to see um, this program grow and see um, the women grow. I've got to see a lot of people graduate. I've got to learn from a lot of people and um, I've got to be impacted by a lot of people. Um, Penny being a really big one of those people. Um, so it's just been, it's been amazing to be able to, to grow um, with a new group of women each year and um, like I said to see this program grow and succeed and I hope that that legacy continues and um, yeah I just, I think it's just been great to be surrounded by a bunch of Christian women um, and men and be able to, to grow in faith, grow in the sport, grow um, in life and it really does translate to life um, in a lot of ways and I've got to see that this year being a working adult and married and <laughs> yeah. So. Well for you and kind of the rest of this team, what's it been like having a pitcher like Kayla in the circle the last few years? It's just provided a whole new level of confidence. Um, I've never, I've never had a pitcher like Kayla on my team before. Um, whenever runners get on base, we're not worried. Um, we're not stressed. It's, it's just, it gives us all confidence in defense and in offense, and um, it gives us more motivation. We want to be able to score. We want to be able to win games because of how hard she works for us. Um, so yeah, it's been unreal. Uh, coach, obviously seven seniors, a lot of them fifth years. Uh, like we said, they've helped build this program up, but uh, it's going to have some turnover next year. Uh, what do you see as next for the Bethel softball program? Um, I mean, just keep rolling. Just keep rolling and doing what we do. Uh, the thing that we say every day is be exactly who we are and do what we've done. And I, the way that these guys have elevated what we do, we are going to do it again. All right.